plant eye kids in sweatshops. Crap that breaks and is instantly out of date, and the very act of buying it makes us feel inadequate because we can't afford the more expensive or up-to-date version, no matter how much fucking debt we take on. It's the only kind of freedom that matters. And how? Maybe not the only kind. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's get this lame-ass mission over and done with. Hand out these leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get back to the base as soon as possible and try to get deployed on a serious combat mission. You token fruit malingerer. <clears throat> yeah, listen up! What we'll do, boys, is hand out these here leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get our keisters back to base as soon as possible to try to get on another serious combat mission! Yes, sir! Hey, you! You look queer. You're reading, and it ain't even a porno. Have a lately. Just like I thought. Arrival rounds at Pinko! Soldier, I'm recommending you for a man. But, but that man... And you! I had about enough of you. What do you mean? I... Don't oh, you! Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Scramble! Buster, Buster! Mrs. Fox tried to the Bravo leader! Repeat! Fox tried to the Bravo leader! We got a KIA at the mall here! Ah, shit! Insurgents are all over us! We're going for immediate backup! Send them in! Send them in! Yeah. Get some! Get some! We got Charlie all over our asses on this hill! Free men are dying out here! Yeah. Get some! is coming. Will it be aliens, zombies, or a global financial meltdown? Whatever it is, you need to be prepared. Get your complete apocalypse kit at Ammunition! Contains foodstuffs and alcohol for three months. A massive array of armaments. Cartons of cigarettes to trade with roadside wanderers. The apocalypse kit contains birth control, so you don't create any more mouths to feed. Pornography. Water purifier so you can drink your own urine. And cyanide pills so you can go out like a man. When a million zombies come running over the hill, you'll be really pissed you didn't buy enough bullets. Don't dial 911, dial 357. Ammunition, protecting your rights. He was a brave ranger, but now he's gone. And that's what happens when we get sent into tough combat situations with inadequate support due to Congress being run by liberals and, and pseudo-liberals and Pseudo people who hate pseudo fucking America. Sure, the boy was a butt pirate, but he died like one too. And anyone who says the Space Rangers won't let queers get shot in the line of duty is simply a big eye not living in this here century. But just so we're clear, straight boys did an even better job. But what about reports of innocent people getting caught in the crossfire? Fuck that! That is category one bullshit, ma'am. What kind of innocent person comes to a freaking shopping mall? Anyway, that's all I got time for. I gotta go take a dump. God bless this country. Excuse me, Commander. Commander, uh, Elena von Sorensen. If I may, you boys, you did great out there. Well, we just, we were just doing our duty. You just might be perfect for the new movement brewing. You know, I think I'm about ready for a movement and I need to do my duty. Ooh, is it like a club? I like clubs. Secret handshakes and rituals and crackers and walking like packy derms. Yes, yes, it, it is kind of like that. You know, you have to be careful, gentlemen. Without knowing it, you are supporting the liberal agenda that is determined to destroy America for reasons none of us can ever articulate. But it has something to do with them being overeducated and looking down on hardworking people like us. So much so, they want to patronize them by giving them opportunity. And how? It is a terrible shame, ma'am. Well, all I am saying is you all need to come to a meeting. Now, we will give you some real leaflets to hand out. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can remember my reading. Uh, it says here, Do you hate foreigners? Do you hate progress? Do you hate giving money to people who's doing nothing to deserve it? Then you may be perfect for the coffee grinder. That is right. And with that, it's back to you, Bruce, in the bunker. I mean, studio. The what? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. You are among friends now. God for that. Friend. Public, Public education, education is socialism. 
Well, well, well. Just look at all these honest, hard-working folk expressing their God-given views. Hey, and they're handing out free beers and chicken wings. Ooh, ah. But I'll tell you what, this is my kind of rally right here. Ain't more fun than that one when we wore them silly hoods. <laughs> Remember that? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, our boys, shout this while you'll fit in and feel manly. Well, thank you, sir. Who do we hate? Ourselves! What are we doing? Giving tax breaks to the rich! What do we hate? Equality! What are we doing? Fucking ourselves in the can! Everyone's pulling together for the good of the nation. I am turtling something fierce. I got a pebble poking out. Yeah, I could use a comfort station as well. <laughs> that chimichanga's blasting through me at hyperspeed. Ooh, ah. Man, we's all going to the bathroom together like girls. Complex scientific fear. Well, Edmund, this just might work. Yes, Fitzgerald, yes. After our last successful campaign, anything is possible. And I say to you that what we need is more Christmases and Thanksgiving. <laughs> I want to get basted. Now who's with me? Now we only need to find the perfect patriotic halfwit to run as our coffee grinder candidate for president. Yeah, which we will back with a billion dollars and take ownership of Congress and the White House and deregulate to our heart's content. <laughs> you have a heart, brother. <laughs> You softy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bowels. Oh, where do those assholes go? Man, I'm gonna drop a bomb out my ass that would melt the city into glass. The Coffee Grinder Party is about turning public schools into shoe factories. And, uh, sir, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Sir, oh my god! <laughs> The fellow that tried to assassinate the president urinated on the first lady and blew up the Washington Monument? Ah, and now he's literally taking a crap on the United States Capitol. <laughs> I think we may have found our candidate, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Will the creepy billionaire brothers hatch their evil scheme? Will Dick become the next president of the United States? Will Butch become the first lady? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers. Don't miss the next episode of Organ Farm, where contestants abduct illegal immigrants to get the life-saving transplant they need. It's heartwarming reality TV. Organ Farm, Thursdays on Weasel. what they really deserve. Avarice. Something to aspire to. The new Serrano. Luxury reasserted. From the mid-1980s to the early 1990s, it was the greatest time in the history of America. In Evacuator, I finally won the Vietnam War. With the help of my sidekick, Ho Chi Bat, and my Indian spirit guide, Wandering Hand. In Exploder, Evacuator Part 2, I marry America and save my family by killing more foreigners. In Special Needs Cop, I became a school teacher to bust a drug ring moving coke through a school for special needs children. And I was the biggest. I was the best. Then, everything went to shit. I was convicted of a crime I probably didn't commit. So I just spent a few years in the joint. Prison changes a man. But I knew that Vinewood and my fans would be here waiting for me. Hey, Carl, take care of your dick. Freedom, here I come. Where is everybody? Jack's back! Fortunately, America had moved on. 
And that's why I'm living here. It's like nobody remembered the war. Now it's all about fighting terrorism on computers using drones and women. In the old days, we fought evil using survivor knife sets and steroids. It was a lot better back then. But there's one thing I've learned being an action hero movie star. It's that Vinewood never moves on! I'm back, bitches! And there's nothing you can do about it! The 80s are never over. You don't just turn off the 80s! I'm Rufus Bellows. I just signed Jack as a client. This is our first big meeting. First one, number one. I gotta be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. Every time I gotta meet a star, the nerves get going, because mostly up until now, I've only worked with talking animals and midgets, so, you know. It's time to get pro, baby! Who is it? It's uh, Rufus, your agent. Come in. What do you want? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, Jack. Jack, whoa, lower the piece, bro. It's me, Rufus. You're gonna go big places with me? Remember, I'm your new agent, Jack. You know, the last one didn't work out so good. <laughs> I know a guy that can clean that up for you. Uh, total DNA removal. <clears throat> you know, I should give you a card. What can you do for me? And what can you do for me? I can give you some tough love for stars. <laughs> Are those jars of urine in there? Hey, stay out of there. I will mow you down. What's with Crystal see-through slippers in the chair here? Is she, is she dead? She's meditating. Jack? Jack? I am a huge fan, Jack. I am so excited that you're out of prison. And you're ready to make your comeback. You're gonna, you're gonna claw your ass up that Vinewood sign, boy. You're gonna take a dump on everybody down below. But if, if you're gonna do those things, you need to just explain to me wh what's going on with the puppet here. Hey, this is not a puppet. That's Ho Chi Sock. So it's like a, like a therapy thing, like a coping mechanism? Hey, I don't cope. I kill. Yeah, death is his closure. Death is his closure. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, hey, a little bit of role playing never hurt anybody, huh? I, I'm, I'm worried about Jack. I'm worried about him, all right? I knew things were bad. Career around. His career is just fine, Rufus. You got a problem with that? He's still on top. He's still number one, Rufus. The kid's still number one. Hey, yo. He's hoarding urine in there. You saw it. He's talking to a sock puppet. He's got these patriotic like, delusions of grandeur. He's... This is gonna be a fucking gold mine. You smell that? You smell it? You smell it? Home run, baby! Over the fence! Hey, life's been tough since I left prison and befriended his son. But Ho Chi really understands me. And this agent seemed like the kind of guy who could get my career back on track. Making action movies about Asians and East Europeans. Oh, I couldn't wait. Neither could I! Now, uh, Jack, I want to talk to you about my fee. It's a little high, but you get what you pay for. 40%. No negotiate. Oh, no. I want 60%. No less. <sighs> All right? Hey, you, you drive a hard bargain. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Great to have you on board. Way to go. <laughs> All right. Don't touch that. All right, right Ho Chi. Okay. Easy, Ho Chi. We called in the crew of guys that do crime scene cleanup to get all the hoarder stuff out. Jack was not happy to let things go. Nobody takes my piss! 
Nobody takes our pee pee. But we finally got the place cleaned up. Yeah, almost. Hello. After all this women's work, it was time to get down to business. Rufus, I'd like to pitch my new movie to you. Okay. I infiltrate a Chinese business, and I bomb all the factories where the kids make the MP3 players, mm -hmm. and I bring all the jobs back to America. <laughs> and then I get these Chinese bankers, you know, that keep America's dead hostage. Mm -hmm. And I mow them down, and I give myself some day bomb. And then I say to Jackie, the fellas, hey, fellas! Jackie, Jackie, listen, listen. I love the whole stick it to the Chinese angle. Super. But people, you know, they're a bit more sensitive now. The 80s are over, you know? The 80s are over. I'll say when the 80s are over. The 80s are never over. You don't just turn off the okay, 80s! Hey, Jackie, okay, okay. You know, I walk down the street now, people recognize me. People scream out at me. Baby killer! I never meant to kill that baby! He's innocent! He thought it was a chicken! Yeah, that's all I thought it past. was a chicken! That's all in the past now! <laughs> Sit down. It's all in the past. How could it be in the past? In the 80s, I could fly an attack helicopter. I could bomb any peasant village I wanted. And I could feel up any girl that I saw on the street. They were movies! They weren't real! Now, we gotta get you real. I want you living a whole fake life online. That's step number one. We're getting you a Life Invader page. We're getting you a Bleeder account. And I want you posting all kinds of stupid, annoying opinions, okay? So we got them online. And then people started to make negative comments about it. And then we had a major setback. Go to hell! You know what, Jack? If you go around killing every asshole that talks shit on the internet, you're gonna have a few million assholes to kill. Get some ammo, get some extra body bags, and get an extra large popcorn. Because it's gonna be a long night. That's a quote. That's a quote from when Jack was popular. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a quote from yourself. And you know what? I'm pitching your movie. Nobody's biting. What if I had a sex thing? Like this. Hey, you got boop, 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 boop. Bro, and she's bro. like a boop. Bro, I'm like a bro. boop. I'm directing this picture because it's gonna be a number one hit. Chinese people. Who wants to get killed in a movie? Get in the car. Let's go. Let's What's go. Let's go. I was inside a lady. Imagine. Nothing is so pristine as as far as the eye can see. Imagine being at the beach every day. But this beach is 400 miles wide and there's no water. Imagine the peace and tranquility of a place utterly devoid of life. Like living on the moon, but with snakes. snakes. For millions of years, people lived where the water was. Until now. The Grand Sonora Desert. Come live where there's nothing there. the first up and atom restaurant opened life was simpler then the 50s were a sacred time for our nation good clean food happy homogenous people and well segregated communities an enemy we understood and could control with the threat of nuclear apocalypse such was the excitement of the atomic age that can-do American spirit is in our DNA at Up and Atom. We invented the triple burger, the 10 slice of bacon triple cheese melt, an extra creamy jumbo shake, and of course, the legendary two-way speaker box for people that are too lazy to get out of their cars to eat. We don't succumb to trendy health fads. At Up and Atom, we've kept many of the same menu items. We still serve up all of your weekly saturated fat, salt, and sugar needs in one convenient setting. Up and Adam, food from when we were morally superior. Come to Rainbow Laser Force. We're reclaiming the rainbow. Come Fu Rainbow Laser Force, the upper middle class superhero team that protects your innocence any way they can. They are Talula, Sebastian Caden, Zoe, Quota, and Dirk. We don't tolerate difference. We're at our sexual lover dance. Yeah! Fight! Multicolored skin tight car off the spandex. Cow! I'm happy to wait. I don't even need to masturbate. I did it all on the face of justice. Sex is bad. And that's good. Gonna save the neighborhood from sex.
And what does science teach us that caused the dinosaurs to go extinct? Look, look at me. Bitch fight! <laughs> No, why are you on the ceiling? Is it the anti-gravity gun again? Shit novel. No, we've been shot with the anti-narrative gun. This episode makes no sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, we ran out of ideas how to end this episode. So I'm just going to sing a song to you. How come you, mm, you smell so Asian, but you look so Caucasian? I can't get next to your love, girl. I'm gonna break you in half, you Japanese woman. Mm. Oh, I like them big eyes like saucers and a small mouth like a mouse's ear. Get rid of that sissy man you wear. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up, singing plain ass bitch. How I look? When my dad had a heart attack, <coughs> we rushed him to Central Los Santos Hospital. I was so scared. Thanks to the treatment he received there, he unfortunately died. My family learned our lesson. That place sucks. Heart attacks won't kill you. The wrong choice in hospitals will. Take your loved one to Mount Zona Medical Center. Mount Zona is number one in heart attacks, brain hemorrhages, Tourette's, Fuck shit, cunt. strokes, hemorrhoids, leprosy, elephantitis, cardiac failure, and loose stools. You have a choice in hospitals, so pick the one with the largest advertising budget. Mount Zona Medical Center. American plastic surgery is too expensive. Why not do like the rest of American industry and reduce your cost by going abroad? Implant Outsource, the reality show that sends contestants to exotic locations for permanent body modification. Pirates love booty. Why not get ass implants in Somalia? Take a relaxing vacation in Mongolia, the land of Genghis Khan, and get your legs lengthened. Or a second penis installed in Tijuana. Implant Outsource, Mondays on CNT. Impotent Rage, the liberal superhero. He'll save the day for straight or gay. Impotent Rage. Tax the rich and all the poor, even though he follows money offshore. Impotent Rage. Giddy go awards in a jet plane. We're sacrificing together. I feel your pain. Impotent rage. Eat organic, recycle, or I'll have a fit. He's a judgmental hypocrite. 
Union entitlements rule. Ban God in school. Smack for chunkies. Welfare for flunkies. Get the rant for liberal superheroes. Oh, I just care too much. <laughs> What do we want? Less work! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Hand job! Everyone get back to work! What the hell is this? Get back to work! Impotent rage. 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 Impotent What's going on here? Oh, Impotent Rage! Thank God you're here! We're being oppressed by an evil corporation! Our bosses want us to actually work! It won't guarantee us 200% raises! Summer Fridays off and pensions for life after retiring at 37! Why, that's outrageous! But we're going out of business if we don't make some changes! They want free snacks, massages, and raises every year! And most of them go on disability with full pay anyway! You revolting chiselers, you! They're trying to fire me for sleeping at my desk! You were drunk! Well, you would be too! He's just deadening the pain inside from being trapped as a mediocre cog in the dead-end machine of... Capitalism. But he's the CFO! I said American workers should be able to retire at age 35 and receive health care! And a salary for life on your dime. Otherwise, what's the point? That's impossible! That's not how economics work! Don't you understand? I'm extremely rich! I understand how economics work and what the working class needs! They want a six-pack of beer, an eager girl in their pickup truck, and a depressing folk tune playing on the radio. This here's a free country, boy! Free, but with thousands of rules and regulations to keep greedy corporations like you in line. If you don't like it, move to China. But, but because of the free trade agreement, that's where we'll have to move the company if we don't want to go out of business. We just want a sensible discussion of the issue. Oh, you're nothing short of a disgrace. If peaceful protest won't change your mind, we're going to have to solve this the old-fashioned way. With mind-bending liberal impotent rage! <laughs> Victory for the working man! My work here is done. But our workplace is destroyed! Ah, hell, go on welfare! Kick back, get a six-pack and relax. You deserve it after all this work. Why do we just want to work? Braxton Industries, headed by billionaire liberal playboy Braxton Hunter, recently celebrated the closing of another highway to install more bike lanes and collective urban farms. Braxton recently returned from a trip to Antarctica on his private jumbo jet, where he'd been to accept an environmental award. Some critics say that Hunter is also the caped superhero Impotent Rage because they look exactly alike and have the same voice, and Impotent Rage tends to show up right after Mr. Hunter quietly sneaks out. He has emphatically denied they are the same person. A hero of the liberal media, others say Hunter is a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on his hands. What? I am not a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on my hands. Woo, baby! Now that is one productive day's work. I'm gonna go home and do some yoga, drink some wheatgrass, and go to my favorite farmer's market. Good morning, Braxton. You look great. You've got a bunch of voicemail messages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from whom? Uberman. Uberman! My arch nemesis! I hate that right-wing bully! Hey, impotent rage, you pathetic hypocrite. <laughs> I was just eating some whale sashimi and a manatee steak when my thoughts turned to you. Dumb, slow vegetarians whom the state will no longer protect. <laughs> See you around, schmucko. Oh, do I hate that man? Oh, do I despise Braxton, him? Braxton, Braxton, <laughs> there, there. I know a way to calm you down. Something wet and relaxing that you'll really like. Oh, 
A black seed smoothie. You've got a great idea, baby. Braxton, I need to tell you something. I'm in love with you. I want you to take me, rip my clothes off, and thrust yourself inside me. Sometimes I feel like you don't even notice I'm here. I I'm sorry. Uh, what were you saying? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. I get emotional about this stuff too, Violet. The environment, marriage rights, hemp clothing, recycling, placenta cakes. You know, I became a liberal at a very young age. My parents were Violet. We're about to start the flashback sequence, so please wiggle back and forth for me now. Okay. My parents moved here as immigrants from Vice City and built a huge empire, exploiting people mercilessly. My father made a fortune strip mining, boiling, dumping toxic pollution, and marketing tobacco. He's a womanizer. And much more interesting than me. He belittled me constantly. And then he died before he could write me out of his will. And so I became the majority shareholder in a huge multinational company. I traveled the world. I joined lots of NGOs and did what any other impossibly rich, sexually confused rich kid does. Became a superhero. Through the art of self-meditation, yoga, and a freak green energy accident, which gave me unnatural godlike powers, I became impotent rage, 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 rage. Wait, what's that? What is it? It's my echo sense going off. That man isn't recycling. Hey, Neanderthal, do you know what century it is? Recycle that soda can, or I'll come down there and teach you a lesson you won't forget in a hurry. I can't stand being disrespected like this! Braxton, quick, to the anger room. device of the future I personally invented, even though I am otherwise entirely incompetent? Impotent rage, there's some trouble down by the river. Fascism never sleeps. Violet! I'm over here. Of course you are. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit? I thought superheroes run around in their underwear, so should their assistants. I thought you would like it. Violet, it's that kind of hyper-sexualized clothing that exploits and demeans women. Fuck me. Fuck me! Time for impotent rage! Uh, where is it? Here. For the record, this is an organic, entirely fair trade cotton one piece that is dyed in berry juice, harvested by a lesbian commune. And it's every bit as effective at fighting crime as the synthetic fibers made popular by some of my rifles. Quick, to the suit-up montage! Uh, Braxton? What's this? That's the cost to animate your overly elaborate and lengthy suit-up montage. Uh, got it. Okay, skip the montage. Let's go straight to... Impotent Rage! Impotent Rage! There are over 8 million species of migratory birds that travel through San Andreas. But every day, hundreds of thousands of birds are slaughtered by a not-so-silent predator, windmills. So-called environmentalists' desperate need to destroy our state's indigenous oil industry will lead to noisy, nature-killing windmills literally in your backyard. At San Andreas Water and Power, we're working with state and local officials to make sure that windmills and solar panels don't ruin our pristine environment. Let's keep the power on. Nature, and in particular our beautiful birds, will thank you. Nothing is more dangerous for a bird than a slow-moving windmill. 
They, like any half-sentient creature, much prefer 100-acre industrial plants spewing out noxious chemicals. Let's all work together to preserve our environment. San Andreas Water and Power. No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! What's going on here? These protesters want to stop us from fracking. You conservatives! Always trying to stop loving people from fracking. What century are you living in? If these three men want to frack each other, what business is it of yours? If these two want to spit roast this guy, why do I care? What? But they want to drill really deep and make a mess. Why, they say that's the joy of fracking. Why, I'll bet this happy fellow is a top. I, I, I say what? Fracking is what makes the world go round. Everyone is free to frack who they want, what they want, and where they want. I myself would frack all the time if it weren't that my superpowers have adversely affected my fracking prowess. Oh, oh yeah! I do love big, delicious penises. You have to help us, impotent rage. We'll be an oppressed. I've had about enough of your Stone Age outrage! You angry conservatives are all pen up homosexuals yourselves! Hey, but we're not conservatives, we're protesters! Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? should sort things out for everyone. You just keep on fracking, boys. Does anyone want a photo for their life invader page? I really do exist. And I prove not all closeted rich guys are creepy. <laughs> oh, impotent rage. You're such an ignoramus. Overman! You littering bag! I was wondering when you turn up. Oh, my suit is so fancy. This suit is actually pleasuring me right now. Mm. Oh, oh, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Yang! You worked yourself up into such a liberal lather that you actually ended up helping the opposition. <laughs> These are natural gas wells that pollute the environment, not three old queens into PNP. What? Oh, no, no, what have I done? Uh, maybe I'll donate some money to charities. Uh, build a statue of a kid in a wheelchair? That will clear my conscience. I've come to save the day again from you. The common herd needs a genetically superior synthetic fiber-clad sociopath lunatic to look up to. Not a soy latte sipping dweeb with a flaxid. Well, you get the point. But first, I'm off to drill some oil wells in environmentally sensitive wetlands. <laughs> Goodbye, impotent rag. No! I must stop him! To the impotent mobile electric car! Initiate solar panel sequence! Right away! The conservatives always win. This is America. Our fires burn bright, especially in the trash barrels that keep people warm. We're after a riot because there's no jobs. America is hurting. We're at each other's throats, wondering if this country can ever come back from the abyss while bankers loot the coffers. The thing about steel, it's hot and cold at the same time, like a woman, Lady Happiness. We made the problems, and we're solving them together, because we're in this together, which is why it's only right you're paying for the mistakes we made together. Subpar cars and overly entitled executives. Together, we're holding on to the dream. 
That dream is luxury and a gas-guzzling luxury car created in a nation that's 95% condemned. We haven't forgotten what America wants. A hunk of overpriced shit that goes fast and gets you vapid pussy. Bravado. United we stand. Together we fall. What will you do when you finally win the lottery? I'm gonna have my ex-wife strangled by a hitman. Start dreaming. Play the San Andreas State Lottery and have all your fantasies come true. Rehab Island. A tiny island. Ten desperados who will do anything on television. No food. A massive pile of cocaine and tons of relapses. Reality finally gets real on CNT. Germs. It's kill or be killed in the great warfare in your home. Of all the places in your home, your carpet is the battleground where the fighting is the nastiest. That's where I come in. Mr. Spot. Ordinary cleaners leave stains, dirt, germs, and life behind. I don't. I kill everything. I clean and disinfect the toughest stains and kill 99.9% .9 of germs and living tissue. I can cleanse a crime scene or strip a baby to the bone in less than an hour. Mr. Spot. Destroys away wine stains. Dead. Mud. Dead. Dead. Cat vomit. Dead. Including the cat. Moonblood. Whatever it is, it's dead. Coffee. Bye bye You're dead. Dead cheerleader. You're still dead. And ink stains? Dead. 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 Your teenager is shooting DNA on every surface of the house. Mr. Spot cleans it away. If you want, it'll even clean him away. Mr. Spot, a squirt is all you need. Then boom, nothing lives on. Criminals fear him. Police respect him. Women need him. Men envy him. He's the square-jawed yet world-weary hero your dad always wanted to be. So let's remember that a flame will never die. Cause this is a battle of that life. Song about you and I. Fantastic. I'm moist. Let's take a break before we hear from the judges and find out if that was fame or shame. Hmm. What do you guys think? You want to come see my trailer later? Oh, come, on. Awkward. come on. Are you still stuck on 4G? <laughs> Wiz Wireless is the only network offering incredible 9G technology. Yes, that's the ninth generation featuring the new drone. It's significantly better than the iFruit phone. How do we know that? Because we blatantly ripped off their design and improved a couple of irrelevant features. 9G, discover your future. You can't be the best if you aren't doing eight things at once on a tiny screen. The drone from Wiz Wireless. Wireless. Together we're making your life nine times better. That's the promise of the ninth generation. Uh, woo! Sweet beans and bacon, that's good. Welcome back. Sorry, I was just finishing a refreshing lager. Lager, the official beer of fame or shame. That's a lie. Just followed some poor guy into the loose who could show him his lager. <laughs> mm. Imran, hey, it's been like five minutes since you said anything. You're paid to talk, buddy. I'm here in association with Flow Water. Flow Water. Hey, let's take a minute for the troops and, and for disabled people and, and for sick pets and, and for ugly people. They, they suffer the most of all. And speaking of ugly people, is William a pimple on America's ass or a charming gnome in its garden? Fame or shame? Anita. I think shame. Which is a shame. I it just it just wasn't there for me. Mm, that's got to be pretty heartbreaking, buddy. But you're not out of the running yet, Imran. I just love the exciting variety of toppings available at Up and Atom Burger. Up and Atom Burger. What? Shame. No question. Two down, there, power ballad boy. Let's talk to the big chief and hear from him. Hugh! Well, William, you know, uh, 
You are so ugly. Ugly! Even Laszlo would turn out the lie. And you sing like Jez Torrent's asshole after a curry. Ah, <coughs> uh, come on, mate. One guy calls you talentless, ugly, and a waste of space on national television, and you cry. Wow. What are you thinking right now? What's going through your head as those tears are coming down your face, buddy? I'm just, I'm just proud of the journey I've been on. Mm -hmm. It means so much to me mm -hmm. and my sick brother and our dead dog. Did I mention my mother, Laszlo? Oh, did I mention nobody cares? Oh, she abandoned me. Oh, whoopsie doo! People are abandoning the show in droves. Our ratings are in the toilet. Somebody do something controversial. Um, I need to flash your titties. No. Um, have a mental breakdown or something. Unacceptable. What is uh, this? Um, Hugh. Um, uh, shoot him. Shoot him in the nuts. I I can't lose this gig. I got a mortgage to pay. When I feel anxiety. I visit Hill Farm. After my dad got sent to jail, they foreclosed on our farm, too. Hold on, wait a minute. Listen, I've still got to vote for William. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, we've got one more vote on Famer Shame. Hugh! I am going to vote. Fame. <laughs> Fame! America needs power ballads sung by top talent with exciting backstories like you. And I'd like to sign you to my record label and make you a star. But first, please, uh, will you do me a favor? What? Anything? What? Do the honors, get us out of here, and uh, take him out. What? Punch him in the face. Sorry. Oh! Oh! oh. This has been Famer Shame, the finals. We'll have more finals next week. Brought to you in association with, oh, my Batsu cars and the drone. Just like the iFruit phone, but let you look down on people in a whole new way. We'll see you on the next finals of Fame or Shame! Oh, oh Jesus, uh, sweet donkeys! Don't miss the next episode of Fame or Shame, the finals. What is the Epsilon program? Why have so many famous people sorted everything out? What's holding me back? Why aren't I more successful? How much does wisdom cost? Can I pay money and have all of life's answers? Yes. 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 We speak 160 languages on six continents. We are the Epsilon program. The show that shows you're never too old to go out hunting. Serious Cougar. He's 22 and can last for hours. She may not last till the morning. Would you hit it? She hit menopause before you were born. It's the show that asks, how old can you go? It's desperation taken to a whole new death. Broken hearts and hips. Serious Cougar, only on Weasel. Wake up in the morning, drop a big old log out of here. You ain't got time for nothing fruity like Heartland bankers in the city. We love cars, guns, and big old plastic titties. Let's grab a case of piss while sir, and drink for the USA. Woo! Hey, neighbors, I'm sorry we're partying real much. You ought to speak English if you like it here so much. Not Spanish or Chinese or British. They're all fucking Dutch. Fuck the Dutch. I said, yeah, we're gonna keep them alive. Out. Guns and piss washer. Yeah, that's what a party's all about. Getting real drunk, puking face down. Feeling a bobby about every kid in town. Drinking piss washer fight and getting real shit faced tonight. Yeah, I'm a patriotic American. That's my national right! Pisswasser, German fighting logger for export only. What's the sound of that screaming? We just gave birth to a bison. The bravado bison. The truck that tamed the West.
The bravado bison. You're two tons of muscle and sinew. You can't be stopped, so plow through life. Never stop for directions. Haul stuff, haul ass, haul migrants. This is the West. This is America, where you can fight through any emotional terrain with raw 4x4 power. With 6,000 horsepower and fuel efficiency that's great for the environment, isn't it time we reintroduce the bison? The good die young, so you might as well die strong in a real truck. The Bravado Bison. Believe in beef. Republican Space Rangers. Intergalactic war on terror. But don't worry about collateral damage or error. Cause we're new can hate will threaten freedom and liberty. Sometimes we kill with undue glee. Oh, was that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission. And possibly deny extraordinary addition. Red and American values. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you gotta, gotta bomb, bomb an orphanage or two. Republican Space Rangers! With the world turning more socialist by the day, who do you call Republican Space Rangers? They are Butch, the Commander, and Dick. In our last episode, the Rangers bravely attempted to save America by assassinating the president. Elated that his approval rating shot up to 98%, President Zane pardoned the Rangers and invited them for a low-calorie beer and a workout at the White House. I'm sorry we tried to kill you, Mr. President. We didn't like you because you're an alien and because you's a liberal. Oh, <laughs> well, that's all right, boys. That's all right. Uh, uh, I I'm kind of shit-faced. <laughs> hey, let me show you something funny. <clears throat> if I tuck it between my legs, I look like a little girl, only hairy. Hoorah! Yeah! Yeah! Well, I can guarantee goddamn to you that that's gonna be the last time we ever get invited back to the White House. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. Hey, they can always rebuild that stupid monument, right? Perhaps, but they won't be able to get the wee-wee stains out of the First Lady's cocktail dress. <laughs> You do love a blackout, Dick. Always have. Gentlemen, if you can stay focused, I have a dangerous mission for you. I need you to pack this ammunition and hand it out at the mall. Hoo-wee! We're giving civilians live rounds? That's a fucking land! Oh, no, no, no. Our new ammunition is knowledge. You what? These are military leaflets about how knowledge is understanding. The policy of don't ask, you don't want to know, has been lifted. Your job is to head to the mall to recruit. The U.S. military now allows anyone and everyone to be a space ranger. What the fuck? Anyone? You gotta be shitting me, egghead. Listen up. I will not, repeat, will not serve with women or open homosexuals. Oh, I love the mall. If you peek over the top of the changing room, whoo it's like a live show. I ain't handing out no fruity cake leaflets. I need real military hold-down shit! I mean, entire planets on fire, screaming children, you know, that sort of thing. Also, here are your new squad mates under our rewritten tolerance policy. Private Luke... Sir? ...and First Sergeant Vanessa. Commander? A g g girl Girls fight like kitty cat. And a, a... a... gay dude? How am I supposed to focus on killing the enemy's family and burning his house down if I'm worried about some guy looking at my hoo-ha? Now, it's a hoo-ha on the front of the back. Depends. I'll show you. <laughs> It's in the back now! It's in the back. <clears throat> I can assure you that's not an issue. I've been in numerous theaters of war and won top honors and only have one piercing. The theater? Well, you queers are all the same. Singing and dancing and carrying on with your musicals and whatnot. Soldiers, enough. Get to your bunks. Reveille at 0600 hours, mall at 0900. Shit, we're pinned down! Throw a grenade and I'll flank him! Dick, yeah. I want you. What? I fantasize about being physically and emotionally intimate with you and rubbing things all over your... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! God damn it! I knew this would happen if they let fruits in the fucking Space Rangers! Listen, your kind has no business in the military. How does this feel? Oh, uh... Well, it's, uh... It's a, that's a fucking... Serious distraction right there. Oh, no. 
I'm a bottom. Take me. Give it to me. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Dick, you dumb shit. Wake up. Wake up. What? Where? Why? How? Me? What the hell were you dreaming about there, soldier? Uh, race cars? Uh, uh, titties? Uh, bacon, uh, bacon titties, uh, an idealized vision of the past? I sure as hell hope so, son, especially the latter. Now, you get your ass moving. We got a report to the recruitment kiosk at the mall. Say, ain't this beautiful? It is beautiful, son. About the most goddamn beautiful thing I ever seen. You see, it's what we spent all these months and years fighting for. Freedom. I'm speaking of the freedom to buy lots of plastic rack crap made in foreign countries by adorable slant-eyed kids in sweatshops. Crap that breaks and is instantly out of date, and the very act of buying it makes us feel inadequate because we can't afford the more expensive or up-to-date version no matter how much fucking debt we take on. It's the only kind of freedom that matters. And how? Maybe not the... Only con. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's get this lame-ass mission over and done with. Hand out these leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get back to the base as soon as possible and try to get deployed on a serious combat mission. You token freak malingerer. <clears throat> yeah, listen up. What we'll do, boys, is hand out these here leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get our keisters back to base as soon as possible to try to get on another serious combat mission. Yes, sir. Hey, you. You look queer. You're reading. It ain't even a porno. Have a late oh. night. Just like I thought. Arrival rounds at Pinko. Soldier, I'm recommending you for a minute. But, but that man... And you. I had about enough of you. What do you mean? I... Don't go! Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Scramble! Buster, Buster! Mrs. Fox tried to the Bravo leader. Repeat! Fox tried to the Bravo leader. We got a KIA at the mall here! Ah, shit! Insurance and you're all over us! We're going for immediate backup! Send them in! Send them in! <laughs> get some! Get some! We got Charlie all over our asses on this hill! Free men are dying out here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. is coming. Will it be aliens, zombies, or a global financial meltdown? Whatever it is, you need to be prepared. Get your complete apocalypse kit at Ammunition. Contains foodstuffs and alcohol for three months. A massive array of armaments. Cartons of cigarettes to trade with roadside wanderers. The apocalypse kit contains birth control, so you don't create any more mouths to feed. Pornography. Water purifier so you can drink your own urine. And cyanide pills so you can go out like a man. When a million zombies come running over the hill, you'll be really pissed you didn't buy enough bullets. Don't dial 911, dial 357. Ammunition, protecting your rights. He was the brave ranger, and now he's gone. And that's what happens when we get sent into tough combat situations with inadequate support due to Congress being run by liberals and, and pseudo-liberals and Pseudo people who hate pseudo fucking America. Sure, the boy was a buck pirate, but he died like one too. And anyone who says the Space Rangers won't let queers get shot in the line of duty is simply a big guy not living in this here century. But just so we're clear, straight boys did an even better job. But what about reports of innocent people getting caught in the crossfire? Fuck that! That is category one bullshit, ma'am. What kind of innocent person comes to a freaking shopping mall? Anyway, that's all I got time for. I gotta go take a dump. God bless this country. Excuse me, Commander. Commander, uh, Elena von Sorensen. If I may, you boys, you did great out there. Well, we just, we were just doing our duty. You just might be perfect for the new movement brewing. You know, I think I'm about ready for a movement and I need to do my duty. Ooh, is it like a club? I like clubs. Secret handshakes and rituals and 
crackers and walking like pachyderms. Yes, yes, it, it is kind of like that. You know, you have to be careful, gentlemen. Without knowing it, you are supporting the liberal agenda that is determined to destroy America for reasons none of us can ever articulate, but it has something to do with them being overeducated and looking down on hardworking people like us. So much so, they want to patronize them by giving them opportunity. And how? It is a terrible shame, ma'am. Well, all I am saying is you all need to come to a meeting. Now, we will give you some real leaflets to hand out. Oh, okay. <sighs> See if I can remember my reading. Uh, it says here, uh, do you hate foreigners? Do you hate progress? Do you hate giving money to people who's doing nothing to deserve it? Then you may be perfect for the coffee grinder. That is right. And with that, it's back to you, Bruce, in the bunker. I mean, studio. The what? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. You are among friends now. God for that. Friend. Public, Public education is socialism. Is well, well, well. Just look at all these honest, hard-working folk expressing their God-given views. Hey, and they're handing out free beers and chicken wings. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Well, I tell you what, this is my kind of rally right here. Ain't more fun than that one when we wore them silly hoods. <laughs> <Remember> <laughs> that? Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all boys, shout this while you'll fit in and feel manly. Well, thank you, sir. Who do we hate? Ourselves! What are we doing? Giving tax breaks to the rich! What do we hate? Everyone's pulling together for the good of the nation. I am turtling something fierce. I got a pebble poking out. Yeah, I could use the comfort station as well. <laughs> that chimichanga's blasting through me at hyperspeed. Ooh, uh. Man, we's all going to the bathroom Why together like want? girls. Complex scientific theory. Well, Edmund, this just might work. Yes, Fitzgerald, yes. After our last successful campaign, anything is possible. And I say to you that what we need is more Christmases and Thanksgiving. I want to get basted. Now, who's with me? Now, we only need to find the perfect patriotic halfwit to run as our coffee grinder candidate for president. Yeah, which we will back with a billion dollars and take ownership of Congress and the White House and deregulate to our heart's content. <laughs> you have a heart, brother. <laughs> You softy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bowels. Oh, where do those assholes go? Man, I'm gonna drop a bomb out my ass that would melt the city into glass. The Coffee Grinder Party is about turning public schools into shoe factories. And, uh, sir, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Sir, oh my god! <laughs> That the fellow that tried to assassinate the president urinated on the first lady and blew up the Washington Monument? Ah, and now he's literally taking a crap on the United States Capitol. <laughs> I think we may have found our candidate, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Will the creepy billionaire brothers hatch their evil scheme? Will Dick become the next president of the United States? Will Butch become the first lady? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers. Don't miss the next episode of Organ Farm, where contestants abduct illegal immigrants to get the life-saving transplant they need. It's heartwarming reality TV. Organ Farm, Thursdays on Weasel. what they really deserve. Avarice. Something to aspire to. The new Serrano. Luxury reasserted. From the mid-1980s to the early 1990s, it was the greatest time in the history of America. An evacuator, I finally won the Vietnam War. With the help of my sidekick, Ho Chi Bat, and my Indian spirit guide, Wandering Hand. 
in Exploder, Evacuator Part 2, I marry America and save my family by killing more foreigners. As a special needs cop, I became a school teacher to bust a drug ring moving coke through a school for special needs children. And I was the biggest. I was the best. But then, everything went to shit. I was convicted of a crime I probably didn't commit. So I just spent a few years in the joint. Prison changes a man. But I knew that Vinewood and my fans would be here waiting for me. Hey, Carl, take care of your dick. Freedom, here I come. Where is everybody? Unfortunately, America had moved on, and that's why I'm living here. It's like nobody remembered the war. Now it's all about fighting terrorism on computers using drones and women. In the old days, we fought evil using survivor knife sets and steroids. It was a lot better back then. But there's one thing I've learned being an action hero movie star. It's that Vinewood never moves on! I'm back, bitches! And there's nothing you can do about it! The 80s are never over. You don't just turn off the 80s! I'm Rufus Bellows. I just signed Jack as a client. This is our first big meeting. First one, number one. I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. Every time I gotta meet a star, the nerves get going, because mostly up until now, I've only worked with talking animals and midgets, so, you know. It's time to get pro, baby! Who is it? It's uh, Rufus, your agent. Come in. What do you want? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, Jack. Jack, whoa, lower the piece, bro. It's me, Rufus. You're gonna go big places with me? Remember, I'm your new agent, Jack. You know, the last one didn't work out so good. <laughs> I know a guy that can clean that up for you. Uh, total DNA removal. <clears throat> you know, I should give you a card. What can you do for me? And what can you do for me? I can give you some tough love for starts. <laughs> Are those jars of urine in there? Hey, stay out of there. I will mow you down. What's with Crystal's see-through slippers in the chair here? Is she, is she dead? She's meditating. Jack? Jack? I am a huge fan, Jack. I am so excited that you're out of prison. And you're ready to make your comeback. You're gonna, you're gonna claw your ass up that Vinewood sign, boy. You're gonna take a dump on everybody down below. But if, if you're gonna do those things, you need to just explain to me wh what's going on with the puppet here. Hey, this is not a puppet. That's Ho Chi's sock. So, so it's like a, like a therapy thing, like a coping mechanism? Hey, I don't cope. I kill. Yeah, that this is closure. That this is closure. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, hey, a little bit of role playing never hurt anybody, huh? I, I'm, I'm worried about Jack. I'm worried about him, all right? I knew things were bad. I didn't know they were this bad. Jack, I'm the guy that's going to turn your career around. His career is just fine, Rufus. You got a problem with that? He's still on top. He's still number one, Rufus. The kid's still number one. Hey, yo. He's hoarding urine in there. You saw it. He's talking to a sock puppet. He's got these 
patriotic uh, collusions of grandeur. This is gonna be a fucking gold mine. You smell that? You smell it? You smell it? Home run, baby! Over the fence! Hey, life's been tough since I left prison and befriended the side. But Ho Chi really understands me. And this agent seemed like the kind of guy who could get my career back on track. Making action movies about Asians and East Europeans. Oh, I couldn't wait. Neither could I! Now, Jack, I want to talk to you about my fee. It's a little high, but you get what you pay for. 40%. No negotiation. Oh, no, I want 60%. No less. <sighs> All right? Hey. You, you drive a hard bargain. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Great to have you on board. Way to go. <laughs> all right. Don't touch Jack. All right, Ho Chi. Okay. Easy, Ho Chi. We called him the crew of guys that do crime scene cleanup to get all the hoarder stuff out. Jack was not happy to let things go. Nobody takes my piss. Nobody takes our pee pee. But we finally got the place cleaned up. Yeah, almost. Hello. After all this women's work, it was time to get down to business.